Okay guys, welcome back. No preamble today. We've been out running errands with the RV this morning, so it's time to get that Kofifi on deck, grab our car, and go exploring. Today we're gonna spend a few hours hanging out in the Big Easy. Welcome to New Orleans, old friend. We're not going for a full day or staying overnight. This is for those of you who just wanna pop over from Biloxi to grab lunch, or if you're driving through and just want a little taste of the Crescent City. For us, it was about an hour and a half away from where we were staying in Biloxi, and I would 100% encourage you to make visiting a priority if you have the time. First up is parking. You have lots of different options, but expect it to be kind of pricey if you park in a private lot like we did. For perspective, this is about what we paid to park in San Francisco for the day a few years back. The machine here didn't work at all, so we had to opt for the text option instead. There is cheaper street parking and the early bird for sure gets the spot in this situation. No matter where you park, be sure to keep an eye on the time because the limits here are strictly enforced. I did the crime, so now I gotta pay the time. We parked and decided to walk from our lot down to the French market along the river walk. Along the way, you'll pass a few points of interest like the infamous Café du Monde, the New Orleans Visitor Center, Jackson Square, and the St. Louis Cathedral. There are a lot of great places to stop and grab souvenirs or goodies along the way, including a lot of artists and vendors in Jackson Square. If you keep heading down the French market, you'll hit the shops of the Colonnade where there are more local vendors and a variety of places to grab a bite. This place is great if you're in a group and everyone wants to just eat different foods. Seafood, gumbo, burgers, vegan food, there's really something for everyone. We opted for a bowl of gumbo, a shrimp po' boy with a side of potato salad, and grab dessert from the crepe shop. The food here was decent, but if you're hanging out in the quarter, I have a few tips and recommendations for you. In the interest of keeping this video short, I'll post a few places I think are worth checking out down below. I will say though, Café du Monde in the French Quarter, delicious, but it is pretty popular and I will warn you that seating can be limited. The line can be long and they only take cash. Although we didn't go on this trip, a good alternative would be the Cafe Beignet on Bourbon Street if you're willing to go a little further into the quarter. It's not just the beignets, they actually have pretty good food here too. If your parking's about to expire and you're starting to get hungry again, no judgment. One of my favorite places to eat is actually over in Metairie, roughly 15 to 20 minutes northwest of the quarter. Sometimes it can take a little while for the food here to come out, but we've never been disappointed that we made the drive and the service has always been great. The food here is so good, I don't know what they're doing back in the kitchen, but I approve. I got a ratatouille. Our favorites are Danny's corn and crab bisque, black and redfish la fourche, which is a black and redfish on a bed of mashed potatoes, topped with crawfish mushroom cream sauce and fried crawfish tails, that come with a side of greens, as well as the Cajun jambalaya pasta, which is alligator sausage, shrimp, and chicken with onions, garlic, and bell peppers, tossed with fettuccine noodles in a rich Creole Alfredo sauce. And yeah, that is freshly baked bread you see. No sauce left behind. If by some strange circumstance you somehow didn't grab a beignet while you were in the quarter, Never fear, Café du Monde actually has several locations around town. One is freestanding and the other is in the mall. In full honesty though, I have been to both locations and I didn't think the beignets or coffee were particularly fresh at the time, 
I even asked the mall location if they would make me fresh ones and was told a big old nope. Do with that what you will, but it could have just been an off time. For some reason, I always feel the need to walk after a big meal and Lafreniere Park is a great place to stretch your legs. I also want to encourage you to check out some of the events in town, depending on when you're visiting. I'll post a link to this site down below, but it seems like there is always something to do when you're there. The city also has a great art scene and yours truly may or may not have taken part in a few different fashion events here a while back. So that's all folks. Obviously you can't do everything the city has to offer in just a few hours and I can't condense everything down to just a few minutes in this video, but I wanted to encourage you to explore even if you're just passing through. Hopefully this video had a few helpful tips for you and until next time, be kind, be creative.